Hi, welcome to my New Year's Day video. I just felt a strong, strong sense to share something with you here in the first day of, of the year. And I'm going to get right to it. I, I have uh, observed that people have, and we all do, you know, you make your typical New Year's uh, resolution and then you end up uh, having trouble uh, keeping it. So I would recommend to you make some small changes, add something small to your life. Something that when you do it, at the end of it, you say, I can do that again. I can do that easily again tomorrow. And if you make that the most important thing about what your changes are, uh, rather than have like a long list of all kinds of different points that you want to keep making, the changes that you want to keep, keep making in the new year, pick one thing and Try to resist the urge of your mind to say, hey, you got to do something big. You got to make like this big change. You're going to go on the 90 day. You're going to do on the 120 day. You're going to do this many things every day. Uh, this is just a setup that our mind likes to do, uh, setting the bar so high that we end up having to implement it sort of from the top down. In other words, we have to maintain that idea in our mind so strong that it makes us actually do it. But what we're not utilizing is this incredible power of repetition that I know from uh, teaching music and I've been practicing for 30 years plus. And in music, everybody who practices in music, and I guess the same thing is true for sports and for anything that has to do with the body, with learning actually physically with your body is that you never make a big change in one day it just doesn't happen you get excited about the little changes that you make accumulating over time and that seems to be something that we um kind of don't have a really wonderful uh connection with it's, uh, it seems like the word discipline comes up when it comes to like keeping something every day we, the first thing that we tend to think of is, ah, oh, yeah, I, I'm not good at discipline. That's hard. and makes it like a feel of, of burdensome in a way. But if you choose a small idea, a, a small activity that gets you going in the direction you, that you want to go. Let's say you want to lose some weight. Let's say you want to get a little more fit. Let's say you want to feel more energy in your life. Let's say you want to be more positive in general and feel like you need... A little bit more of motivation in your daily life. How about you doing something, you take something that takes you maybe five minutes every day. Just five minutes. Don't go over it. Maybe even just four or three minutes. Something that feels good, so good, that at the end of it you say, hmm, I want to do that again. I can do that again. That's going to be fun to do it again. When you do it that way, then it will build over time and you will access something that only comes into play when we repeat, when we do repeated action. I teach a lot of little kids and they come to me and they want to learn tabla, I want to learn a very complex long-term engagement instrument that's a classical uh, thing. It, it, it's even hard to get going. They have to find certain finger techniques that's two or three months before the right tones even come out. And what's essential for me to do as a teacher, as a good teacher, is to teach them to practice every day a little bit rather than practice for an hour the day before they come to me. And I know the difference. I can see the difference day and night. Those who do just do the 10 minutes a day make consistent progress every week. And then something happens because in the beginning I ask him so, how is it for you? You like playing tabla? And they go, eh, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm just doing it. My parents want me to do it. Whatever, you know. But then they get into this little progress. And then they start seeing that things are working. They start uh, realizing that they can actually make something happen. And then something really, really big happens. Some lights come on. Something gets going in them where they feel like I got a hold of something that I don't want to let go of anymore. And that's the kind of thing I want to recommend to you. So music is a word that always inspires me, not just 
from the music itself, but also what music means and how it works in us and how practice works. It's fascinating. I'll talk to you in other videos more about that. Just want to share a little story with you uh, about February last year. I think it was, I didn't keep track of necessarily. I found a little book on my desk that I, you know, had sitting there for a while from my mom about the five Tibetans. And uh, I guess you call them here the five rituals. And they became quite famous. This book actually originally written in 1939 from a guy who went to Tibet and observed the Tibetan monks doing this. And, you know, I saw the book sitting there and a voice, while well, I mean, we started reading it, and a voice in me came up and said, hey, why are you reading? Get going, do it. And I followed that voice, but I also realized I don't want to overdo it. I want to really get into it. And if I want to get into it, I should do it in a way that motivates me, something that uh, that I enjoy, because I didn't really have a goal. I... I was, you know, perfectly fine, really, with where I was at, physically, in my fitness, and so on. Now, <laughs> that has changed. I got into it. I did it every day. It started growing on me. I added different things, a little bit of yoga, a little bit of this and that to it. Now I got a sequence. If I do it, like, the quick way, it takes me 20 minutes. If I do it, you know, like, with lots of breathing in between, which I love, you know, I like to do it. A full-blown exercise gets your heart going and then relax and breathe into the effects of that. Settle down, do the next thing. It's a beautiful thing. I've just been through it. it I feel so good. And um, so I realized that the repetition and what I want to call predictability, that's a better word than discipline. Predictability means I do this again and again and again and some part in me can understand what that means some part in me takes a hold of that and then builds on it and, and grows with it and that's just an amazing amazing power to open up in us but we got to be kind to us when we do that you know maybe some of you are high performers maybe you need high bars maybe you perform better if you even you know talk a little bit harder if you're a little bit hard on you come on and get going you know maybe that's what you need but i know the majority of people don't need that the majority of people need kindness they need particularly be kind to themselves uh, especially when it comes to accomplishing goals and getting into it so Stop small is a way of being kind with yourself. And the other part that's important to it is that I had started to do daily breath exercises just simply because it makes me feel so good. And one of the things that I love, and I'll be sharing a lot about that this, this coming year, 2019, hopefully it's a really big year for me. I'll, I'll do my best to push and hard because I got something to share with the world. Call it holistic tuning, and that's the Breathe for Peace project. And you know, you wait and see, it's coming. And so I started doing this. This is my favorite thing. I'm gonna take a little bit out. So, like up and down, and you. Some of my videos from December went into that. I'm t even now, uh, I can feel the effect of that tingling through my body. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with the tingling energy flowing through your body? It makes you feel like I'm at home in my body. I'm at home in my energy. And so out of that, I feel like came this voice that was telling me, come on, get going. Get this, get this system going. So even if you choose, let's say, to do three t deep sighs every day at a certain point, one of the things I recommend mornings when you wake up, the first thing you do is some deep breathing, some deep and full deliberate breathing. Even if it's just three or five deep breath or any number of breath that you do until you feel the slight effect of the breath in your system. If you do that every day, you're waking something up in you. 
a, a deeper self, a more integrated, fuller self, where the body and the mind become more and more, and more one. And the breath is the great connection of that. And just in time, I got an article that actually goes into the amazing thing that happens for us when we choose to breathe consciously, which is a privilege of a human being. In that article, they say that animals never do that. Never Animals cannot control their, their breath deliberately, and that it's actually quite remar remarkable and, and uh, astonishing to scientists that we uh, can do that. You know, the, that you can say, I inhale, I hold, I exhale, I hold. You have total control over your breath, and yet you can forget about it. Isn't that something? Think about that a little bit. So here's my, how should I call this, my uh, invitation for a partnership, because I'll, I'll be doing my thing every day, just amount, in the right amount that my mind doesn't push me over the limit, in the amount that I feel like when I'm done with what I do, I want to for sure do that again. I hope this is a little bit helpful to you. Let me know. And I put the link to the article in uh, 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 below the video. And we'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful 2019. And get that little thing going.